So in this video, I am unboxing the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse. So I'm a huge fan of using a compact mouse as part of my office and my mobile office setup. And previously, I've been using the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. I fairly recently purchased this one. This was in 2020. And the reason I bought the MX Anywhere 3 mouse is purely to have another option and to have another mouse that I can throw into my backpack or even leave at the office. Because there have been times where I've forgotten my Logitech mouse at home, which was not ideal. So this brings us to the latest iteration of this specific mouse by Logitech. I must say I'm a huge fan of these compact mice. I personally enjoy compact accessories, especially because they have to fit into your backpack and I just find them comfortable to use. So without further ado, let's unbox this mouse and let's compare it to the previous version. So here we go. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3, the Master Series by Logitech Compact Performance Mouse. This specific model has the mag speed, which is for ultra fast scrolling. And that is a new scrolling technology so that this wheel uses magnets instead of the previous mechanical technology that they were using. If I have a look on the right here, we have got USB-C quick charging. Quick charge in one minute for three hours of use. Full charge lasts up to 70 days. So there are two options to connect this mouse to your computer. The one is using the included USB-A dongle, which is actually extremely useful and very quick. So I really love this option. And the other option, of course, is Bluetooth, which also works really well. I've had a really great experience with both of these, and I often switch between both of them. And it seems complicated, but it's actually such a nice additional feature to have, especially if you're using this mouse with multiple computers or multiple devices. Then if we have a look on this side, we've got the branding. And then we've got what's in the box. We have got the mouse, we have got the dongle, we've got the charging cable and documentation. Then looking at the back, we have got master every project with tools that speed up your process and keep you focused and in your flow. And we have got Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, iPad OS. That's also a really cool thing that it works with iPad OS. So if you're looking for a mouse for your iPad, this is a great option. And at the bottom here, we have got contoured form and ultra soft silicone side grips. We have got tracks precisely even on glass. We've got profiles, customizations and flow cross computer control seamlessly work on up to three computers at once. So from my experience, that has worked really well. I have also tested it with my iPad and it did work really well. So let's see what's inside the box. Let's just put that to the side for one second. We have got our dongle to attach it to a computer that uses USB-A. And underneath here, we have got... So here we have the charging cable. This now uses USB-C to connect to your mouse at the top here. And the other side uses the USB-A, which I think is perfectly fine because you can either plug this into a charging brick and then into a wall socket, or you can plug this into a computer that has USB-A, which a lot of computers still have. And if you want to use this cable to charge your mouse with one of the latest MacBook Pros, then you will need to get one of these adapters, which is not a big deal. Uh, this one is my favorite that I showcased in one of my other unboxing videos. So putting the charging cable aside, over here we do have our documentation that is neatly folded into this little piece of cardboard. I must say, looking at this packaging, I'm really impressed because the whole thing isn't covered in plastic. There's this little plastic stick at the top, which sealed the product and the rest is pretty much cardboard, which I really like. So let's have a closer look at the mouse. I really love this color. And if we have a look at the back, we've got a sticker here that explains that there's an on off switch and then you can choose, you can either connect it with this provided USB-A dongle or you can use Bluetooth. And you also probably want to go to this setup URL if you want to download the accompanying software that you need to create your profiles with this mouse. But it's not something you actually need. And then easy switch, which is really cool. What these mice have at the back is they've got a little button that you can switch between three different settings and profiles. So let me just take this sticker off and I'll explain that in more detail. So on the back here, we have got our on-off switch over there, 
we have got our little button to change between the three different profiles. On the front, we have got the scroll wheel with the new mag speed technology. We have got an additional button and we have buttons on the left hand side here that you can all customize depending on what you want to use them for. I really like the design and the finish of this mouse. It looks really slick and the laser sensor at the back works on all different material, including glass. So you won't have a problem with that. So what I want to do now is do a quick comparison between the MX3. I'm just going to abbreviate that MX3 versus the MX2S. So on the right is the existing one and on the left is the new one. Size is really similar. Design is really similar. You can see on the side there's a different texture when it comes to the side here. The buttons are very similar. The one thing you don't have on the new one is left and right on this mouse wheel. You don't have that option anymore, but I do believe you can customize this model to, do, to use the other buttons to get that same effect. Both of these mice are very similar on the back. They have the on off switch, which as I mentioned, I absolutely love. And then there's this little button here. If I just turn it on, you'll see there I can switch between the different profiles. And the way I've actually used this is that I've set this mouse up on different computers and I can quickly switch between those computers just by selecting the correct profile on the back here and switching back and forth. So I'll be able to do the exact same thing using this mouse. And just to show you for my hand, this is me using this mouse. This is definitely not as big as other mice that I have used in the past and that you might prefer. This is a compact mouse, but I really love that. It is more compact in my backpack and I really enjoy using it. If you maybe have much bigger hands or you just prefer a bigger mouse, then you definitely want to check out other options. The other thing I do need to mention is that I absolutely love this range of mice because it does not take any batteries. I remember previous mice that I used, you had to insert batteries on the back and when they would run flat, you would have to replace them and buy new batteries. So with this specific mouse, it is rechargeable. It comes with this cable and all you need to do is plug this into the top of the mouse and this is the new feature, which is now USB-C, which is really awesome. You plug this into your computer or into a charging brick and this mouse will charge. So you can use this mouse for over two months on a single charge. I must say, I absolutely love this compact mouse. It is my top preference and recommendation if you are looking for a premium mouse to complement your office or mobile office setup. I suggest you check out the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. So there we go, that's the unboxing. As always, I'll leave any purchase links in the description below and I'll also leave a link to a page that contains all the gear and accessories and tech that I use and recommend. So make sure to click through to check that out. If you have any feedback or questions, leave those in the comments below and when I have a moment, I'll get back to you. Wishing you an awesome day. I'm Sean Toomey and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.